Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Harshita and today's video is how much I spend in a week on campus in college. So, um it generally is not much because all of our meals are covered and we have four meals a day, breakfast, lunch, snacks and dinner. But most of my spending is either on snacks because our classes end at around 4 4:30 and snacks start at 4:45 5 and we generally don't end up taking snacks at all and other than that uh, my spendings are on uh, either hot chocolate or nesquik there's a cold nesquik famous thing on campus so we have that and or maggi uh, whenever we can't make it by ourselves So yesterday today is a Tuesday. So yesterday was 15th August. We had a holiday. I was practically in my room the entire time and I was just craving a dessert, a chocolate dessert. So I went to Honey Hut. There's this cute cafe in our college that has opened and I bought a chocolate dessert for myself. So that was 120 rupees. So that is what I spent on Monday. Today uh, because I can't get snacks, I was in my room at 4 o'clock. Right now it's 5 o'clock. I am hungry because the next meal that I'm going to have is around 9:30 10 because I go for basketball every day at 7 so that ends at around 9:30 so my lunch and my dinner has a huge gap which is why I feel very hungry during the evening so right now I'm just going to get an ATBC an ATBC is aloo tikki burger with cheese so it's a it's another famous thing on campus uh, I'm just going to get that uh, right now So the ATBC was supposed to be sixty bucks, but now it has been increased to eighty bucks. So happy date! I have been trying to get Nesquik uh, in the cafe since like a week, but they haven't. But they haven't got the supply yet. And okay, yeah, let's see how it goes the rest of the week. So Wednesday, I did not end up spending anything. Uh, it was a normal day. We had classes. I had meals, so there was no need of spending on anything. On Thursday, we finally got Nesquik. So my friend and I, who really like Nesquik, we had Nesquik, and I was hungry as well. I don't know. I had I just had lunch, but I was craving something crunchy, so I bought a chips, a packet of chips. and it was during the afternoon and after that uh, we had an extra class on thursday thursday we had classes till 4 uh, and then we had another class at 6:30 so between 4 to 6:30 i was hungry yes i get hungry every 2 hours so on thursday i bought that sandwich that was a paneer sandwich it was for 80 bucks so on thursday i spent 40 on nesquik 25 on kurkure chips and 80 on that paneer sandwich so that is uh, 145 so thursday was 145 then on friday uh, we get these manchow noodles uh, instant manchow noodles on campus and i really really like them and we get we get the big ones in the convenience store but we get the small ones in cafe coffee day that's a different shop on campus so i bought two of them it's not like i ate it that day but i spent 70 bucks uh, 35 35 each on that so friday was 70 bucks on that and then saturday and sunday i was doing my moot the entire day so we did not really get out of the room uh, uh, except for lunch and dinner so for lunch and dinner we had that and in the room i think we had snacks so i did not spend anything on saturday and sunday as well but these expenditures differ like daily and it is not something that is specific so i don't drink coffee so uh, i do not spend on coffee every day but there are people who do spend on coffee every day so if you buy cold coffee on campus that's 50 to 60 rupees and if you buy a cappuccino and all of that small cups are for 35 and if if in case you miss a meal and if you need something in the class breaks then you get maggi and instant pasta momos and all of that so those prices also differ so maggi is 35 pasta is also 35 to 40 so it totally depends upon your expenditure and your need and so suppose today i had gone to get fruits for myself so i spent 300 bucks on fruits today I bought blueberries, I bought orange, and I bought apple. So I spent three hundred today. So it is not like there is a set 
expenditure for a particular day it totally differs honestly i have heard a lot of people saying that even though jindal is really expensive the day to day costs of jindal is also a lot but i don't agree with that because uh if you have all four meals in the day then you practically don't have to spend on anything that is uh for your consumption except for any beverage that you want but uh we also get coffee in the morning and in the uh evening in the mess that is already paid for by you so you can save up on your cost if you drink it from the mess other than that so after fourth year you have an open gate pass so you do not need your parents approval to go out every day so there is a small cafe type thing called yellow box out right outside of campus and people generally go there to have momos and all of that uh after classes because their momos are really nice i as well have gone with my friends to yellow box and momos over there range from 100 to 150 bucks and if you want coffee or your shake and all of that that's also an additional 100 bucks so it totally depends upon uh, how much you want to spend in a day and not someone forcing you to spend a set amount every particular day other than that if you go out uh, in the weekend with your friends just to hang out or chill uh, jindal provides you with a shuttle till uh, the hagarpur metro station so that is 150 bucks but if you want to take a direct cab from the campus to the place you want to go to then those cabs are really expensive but if there are four five people you all can dutch and it comes to the same amount and it's uh, convenient because you don't have to keep changing taxis and cabs so those are additional expenses we also get juice and coconut water on campus those range from 70 to 80 bucks so those are the expenses that if you as a person who wants juice regularly can incur other than all of this parcels keep coming in so i have ordered a lot of essentials that i need suppose those plants that are right behind me my roommate and i ordered that because we wanted to add something in the room that is an expense we ordered ramen so that is another expense that i had in the uh, past week but it is not something that i did on a day to day basis so that is not a weekly expenditure but something that is over over and above uh the weekly expenses you end up spending on the food court if you don't like the mess food so uh this week i had gone to the food court but it was my friend's birthday so i it was a treat for us so we did not end up paying so we ordered a pizza a garlic bread and a dessert and my friend had also ordered one pizza and so the total for the both of us was around 500 and there was also a beverage included in that uh, a coke so it was 250 if we divided uh, between the both of us and if and a pizza slice also is good enough for one person with something additional say a garlic bread so that would be 200 for a meal lastly we also have a parlor on campus so if in that particular week you have to go for a haircut or something that you want additionally then you will spend end up spending on the parlor itself but most of my expenses are on food items and on beverages uh normal chips biscuits that i need on a weekly basis some drinks coke or gatorade for example that i need in a on a weekly basis spend on ice creams but ice creams are also provided in the mess it's twice or thrice a week depending on the menu we either get it during lunch or dinner and we get strawberry we get uh, vanilla we get butterscotch so there is variety it's not like you there is no variety but yes the convenience store and the other small shops on campus also have ice creams so that is something that you might spend on so yeah that's about it if you have any questions do let me know in the comments i'd love to answer it uh, and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys got an overview of the expenses that you might incur in a specific week and yeah that's about it for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you